As promised, it is time for a design challenge. We've been talking about energy states, and today in design, we're actually getting to test some of those uh, theories. You're gonna launch uh, cotton balls. The goal is to launch it the farthest you've ever launched it. Our older child in the traditional academic setting was not being able to express the level of creativity and the quality of intellect that he actually has. We heard about Thrive. We wanted to see if this would really create the sort of support that our particular family needs and in particular our children would need. The school that I went before, like there are more kids in the class, so the teachers here like focus on you more and there's more time for one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. Good morning, how are you? Good. At Thrive, Good our Good biggest morning. goal is to engage kids and personalize their learning. We want kids to have a joyful learning experience and for them to be really excited about the work that they're doing in school. Thrive is different because every day I actually enjoy coming to school. I like how the teachers like focus on our spot where we're learning instead of the whole class doing this big group lesson and then having to do like the same worksheet. We all have like our own levels. Here we get to do different projects and different hands-on stuff. We are not confined by the traditions that other schools are. We are always analyzing what we're doing and we're making changes, we're modifying. If we wanted students to have long-term success, we couldn't just let them go after middle school. We had to see them through high school. The personalization that we provide in elementary school and middle school needed to continue. We really put the learning in the student's hand so that they're accountable for how fast they learn. Most importantly, what they struggle with. Well, what I hope is gonna happen is it's gonna fly really far. They're gonna mess up. Don't use that one. And that's okay, we're okay with that. That's part of learning, is messing it up. Like, you mess up 99 times, once you get it right, you'll probably remember it. In life, we know that failures don't go away, even when you graduate from high school, and so if we can build those opportunities for failure, so that when they leave us, then they know how to get out of that and be successful. We really know our students. We know them as humans, we know them as, as scholars, we know uh, what their needs are. That's and we have that two-way communication with them. We're all just like, bam, we're tight. <laughs> How far did you launch it? 86 feet. The sort of patience and care so that he's really being met as a person, as a whole person, it absolutely turned around his experience. And we feel fortunate in that respect.